Imagine sitting quietly writing a secret message, something deeply personal, a story or a hope, carefully folding the paper, sealing it in a bottle and then walking to the edge of a vast, endless ocean. With a gentle toss you send it drifting into the waves, not knowing where it will go, or if anyone will ever find it. Yet, you hope that someday somewhere someone will discover your message and understand a piece of your world. That's what humanity did. But on a scale so grand it's almost unimaginable, a message not for a distant shore, but for the stars themselves. Instead of an ocean, we chose the infinite expanse of space, a sea of darkness and light stretching farther than we can truly comprehend. And instead of a simple glass bottle we built two extraordinary spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, each a marvel of human engineering, designed to journey farther than any object we had ever sent before. These robotic explorers carried with them a message from Earth, a greeting card to the universe, filled with the sights and sounds of our world, carefully chosen to represent the diversity and beauty of life on our planet. NASA scientists realized that, after their planetary missions, the Voyagers would continue their journey, drifting through the silent emptiness of interstellar space for billions of years, long after we are gone. So, they attached a time capsule, a golden record, crafted from gold-plated copper, etched with care, and designed to last for eternity, carrying our voices, our music, and our dreams. This record is a snapshot of humanity, images of our planet, greetings in 55 languages, music from across cultures and centuries, and the sounds of Earth, thunder, laughter, a baby's cry, the beating of a heart. In 1977, the Voyagers launched, each carrying this golden message leaving behind the only home we've ever known and venturing into the unknown. Their main job was to explore the giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune, sending back breathtaking images and discoveries that changed our understanding of the solar system. But their deeper mission was to carry our story into the cosmos, to become silent travelers on an endless journey, bearing witness to our existence. They became our ambassadors to the galaxy, carrying a golden message of peace, curiosity, and friendship. An invitation to connect, if anyone is out there to receive it. It's a testament to a small, curious species on a pale blue dot, reaching out to the universe with hope, wonder, and a longing to be known. And maybe, just maybe, across the unimaginable distances, someone or something will one day listen, and know that we were here. The Voyager story began with a rare planetary alignment in the late 1970s, a once in 176 years chance to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in one trip. NASA built two tough, identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, packed with cameras and sensors to explore these distant worlds. Voyager 2 launched first, but Voyager 1 took a faster route and overtook its twin. The probes sent back breathtaking images, Jupiter's storms, Saturn's rings, Uranus's tilt, Neptune's winds. They discovered new moons, volcanoes on Io and geysers on Triton. After their planetary tour the Voyagers kept going, beyond the edge of our solar system, in 2012, Voyager 1 entered interstellar space. Voyager 2 followed in 2018. They still send back data, carrying our message ever outward, a testament to human curiosity. The golden record is a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc, Earth's ultimate mixtape built to last a billion years. Its cover features diagrams how to play it and a map to our sun using pulsars, our cosmic address. The record holds 115 images, math, science, human life, and daily moments. It's a snapshot of Earth in 1977, our technology, culture, and humanity. There are sounds, a baby's cry, crickets, trains, a rocket launch. Greetings in 55 languages from ancient Akkadian to modern English say, hello from the children of planet Earth. And there's music, Bach, Beethoven, Chuck Berry, and traditional songs from around the world. The record is a message of who we are, sent into the unknown. It's hope, curiosity, and a cosmic invitation. When Voyager launched the world was captivated by its discoveries. Jupiter's clouds, Saturn's rings, new moons, and volcanoes. The golden record, though poetic, was overshadowed by the excitement of planetary science. The idea of aliens finding our message seemed like science fiction, easy to ignore amid real-world concerns. The 1980s and 90s were turbulent, the Cold War, politics and daily life took center stage. Space exploration had to compete for attention. As the Voyagers drifted farther their cosmic message faded from public memory, 
Even scientists saw the record as a side note to the main mission. The probe slipped out of the solar system and the story they carried became a forgotten footnote. Earth sent its story to the stars, and then, for decades, forgot it had done so. The message waited, silent, in the dark. The Golden Record's contents are humanity's cosmic hello. It starts with greetings in 55 languages including a child's voice, hello from the children of planet Earth. The music is a journey through human creativity. Bach, Mozart, Chuck Berry's Johnny B. Good, and traditional songs from Peru, India and more. The record's creators wanted to show our diversity, mathematical complexity, emotional power, and cultural richness. It's a tapestry of sound Navajo chants, Japanese flute, Senegalese percussion, Indian raga. The Sounds of Earth section is a wordless portrait wind, rain, surf, animal calls, footsteps, laughter, a heartbeat, even a Morse code message, per aspera ad astra, through hardships to the stars. The record captures the feeling of being alive on Earth. It's a powerful, poetic summary of our world. A message of hope sent to whoever might listen. Our story in sound. For years, Voyager was remembered for its groundbreaking planetary discoveries, its images of Jupiter's swirling storms, Saturn's rings, and the distant blue dot of Earth. These achievements captured the imagination of scientists and dreamers alike, cementing Voyager's place in history. But as the 21st century began, a new generation rediscovered the golden record thanks to the internet. Suddenly, this cosmic time capsule was no longer hidden away on a distant spacecraft, it was accessible to anyone, anywhere, with just a few clicks. Now, people could see the images, hear the sounds and learn the story behind the message. The Golden Record's greetings, music and photographs became a shared experience connecting people across continents and generations. When Voyager 1 entered interstellar space in 2012, the world was captivated again, news outlets buzzed with excitement, and the mission's legacy was reignited for millions who had never known its story. The golden record became the soul of the mission, a symbol of hope, curiosity and connection. It was more than a scientific artifact, it was a message of goodwill, a testament to our desire to reach out beyond our world. Teachers, artists and storytellers used it to inspire and educate. In classrooms and museums the golden record sparked questions about who we are and what we value as a species. It forced us to reflect what message would we send today, how have we changed since Voyager's launch. The record became a prompt for self-examination and global conversation. The record became a mirror, showing us our own humanity. It reminded us that, despite our differences we share a common story and a longing to be understood. Its optimism inspired a new wave of wonder. Children and adults alike looked up at the stars, imagining what messages we might send next and who, or what, might one day find them. The creators knew they'd never see it found, they built a gift for the distant future, a gesture of hope for generations yet unborn. In a world focused on the short term, the golden record reminds us to dream big, to think beyond ourselves, and to send messages of hope into the unknown. Today the Voyagers are billions of kilometers from home, their power fading, their signals growing fainter with every passing year, yet their legacy continues to grow. Their journey is far from over. These silent travelers are now the most distant human-made objects venturing into the unknown, carrying a piece of us with them. The golden records will drift through the galaxy for millions, perhaps even billions of years, long after our civilization has changed or even disappeared. They carry the story of a world that may change beyond recognition, a snapshot of who we were at a particular moment in time. The message is more important than ever, a reminder of our shared humanity. 55 greetings and global music, images of life, laughter and love, show us as one people united by curiosity and hope, reaching out across the cosmos. We are united on a fragile planet, a tiny blue dot suspended in the vastness of space, sharing a common destiny. The record is a symbol of unity and hope, a testament to our desire to connect, to be remembered, and to reach beyond ourselves. It inspires future explorers to reach out, to dream bigger, and to imagine what lies beyond our current horizons. To share, to connect, and to build bridges across cultures and generations. The Golden Record's true audience is us, it holds up a mirror and asks, who are we? What do we value? What legacy do we wish to leave behind? Who do we want to be, not just for ourselves but for the universe that may one day listen? Even if no alien ever finds it, even if it drifts forever in silence, 
The message has already succeeded, it has united us in wonder, pride, and reflection. It inspires us to look up, cherish our world, and remember that we are all part of something much greater. And so, we keep reaching for the stars. In the vast universe, it's a reminder, we are here, we matter, and we dared to say hello, hoping someone somewhere might one day answer.